What's up everybody? We're here in the meeting room, a room we haven't utilized for the past few months. Um, here getting ready for worship Wednesday night, uh, December the 2nd, down in the gym. Auburn? Wednesday. Wednesday. We're getting set up for Wednesday night worship. Wednesday night student worship. We're moving inside to the gym. It's a little, a little chilly out here. It's going to be too cold outside, so we're going in the gym, get some stuff set up for the stage, been across the street, pick some stuff up from the bus barn. Auburn's already set some stuff up on the stage. Thankful for that. And uh, here we go, getting some more stuff. So let's get it. Auburn, you going to carry that by yourself? I might. <laughs> <laughs> I love Amanda Doubt. Love Amanda Doubt is what he always says. It's what he says. Camera all right here, Auburn? No. <laughs> no, no. Yikes. All right, so here we are. We made it to the gym. Again, I'm about to set some sound stuff up on the stage for middle school and high school worship tonight here in the gym. So we got to move some bleachers right here behind me. And then we're going to set all this equipment up right here on the stage. We'll have three to four people in a band tonight. All right, Big Papa. Cheers. About halfway through setup. Maybe. What you been working on? Uh, I, you know, early on in Genesis, there's a uh, there's a part where God says a certain thing. Can you guess what He said? Uh, he said, uh, "Make mankind in my own image." Well, He did say that, but uh, a little something else. Maybe. Before then. Yeah, before then. That's like, like that's like 26, 27 verses deep. Yeah, so maybe let there be light. That is what he said. So you've been working on these lights right here, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I did it or what, but I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so explain lights here. We got four, what we call, what kind of lights? I have no idea. I just plug them in. We call them bar lights. Bar lights. So yeah. those are four bar lights, and we have power ran to each light across the stage right here. Yeah, if we unplug this one. Let's see what happens. So all three of those came, uh, went off because you unplugged that one. You plug them back in. Let's go ahead and say it. Let there be light. Oh my gosh. Let there be light. Oh, there they go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it scared us a little bit there. All right, so let there be light. So uh, power ran to all four of them to the back wall over here to the outlet. And this is gonna be front lighting on our stage for our band tonight. So. Uh, let's keep working through now the stage setup, instruments, speakers, things like that, and we'll explain that in a minute. Yeah, will you tell them what instrument you're playing tonight? Uh, I'm gonna play, um, uh, what do you call it when you play nothing? An oboe? An oboe. A no bow. A no bow. No I'm playing a no bow. <laughs> Chase, um, do you know what the good Lord said? on day eight on day eight yeah you know day seven he rested he rested right but surely on day eight surely on day eight he played some tunes played some tunes you think i mean he might have like looney tunes or what kind of no, tunes like some jam tunes. is it working So we're discount double checking right here, Big Papa. That should be Mabry. Yeah. 
I hear you too, but it's something's. Yeah, it is. Actually, go ahead now. Hey, hey, hey. So this is called sound check right now where we're trying to make sure everything we just plugged in and <laughs> check the sound as Auburn had just said. So now we're going to Bethany vocals. Let's see what we got. Check, check, check. That sounds like Bethany. Ooh. That's Sorry, Bethany. Ooh. I don't mean that <laughs> wrong to Ooh. you. All right, now let's see about keyboard. Can you play me some keys? Should I show everybody my talents at keyboard? <laughs> Should I show them my talents? Something, something. Should I show them my talents? Yeah, show them. Mary did not have a little lamb. Jingle bells, bro. Oh, I th no, that sounded that's like Mary. That's jingle bells. Hold that thing. No. Yes, that's jingle no. bells right here. You ready? Okay, everybody out there that's watching the crest today, comment in the comment section and always subscribe down below to the YouTube channel, but comment, let us know what song I'm about to play on the piano. You ready, Auburn? Are we ready? Yeah. Let me try that one more time. <laughs> one more time. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb I, I think or closer, jingle bells. Closer to Mary me. had a little lamb or jingle bells. One more time. I'm what you saying, think? You Comment played, down below. You played some. So let's do this now. Um, come this way and let me show you guys kind of the setup for sound. You ready? All right, so here's what we got going on. Again, we're on the stage in the gym. Normally we're outside due to uh, just trying to be safe as possible and stuff like that. But tonight due to it being in the 30s. Frigid weather. Frigid weather, we're coming inside. Social distance students in the gym. Masks are required, things like that to create as safe as an environment as possible. Um, but what we have here is our sound equipment that we've run now to microphones and instruments and lights. And it all comes to this box. This is like the main hub right here that you see. So right here is actually our soundboard. All of these cables go to a certain thing certain place and this is how we get the specific sound from each instrument and each microphone so okay tell them what this cable does right here so this cable right here is cable number eight it's in it's uh actually it's our output number eight it goes to our subs which are the ones that give you the thump in the room and so this cable is ran from here right here into this first sub on the stage and then there's a cable ran from the sub across the stage all the way over there to the very other side to that sub as well. So, why do uh, they call it a sub, Chase? It just gives a little because it's below the other. That maybe so. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to ask like, our like outside tonight. So sub. Sub below uh, freezing. Right. So that's the subs, and then we have these two cables right here, Auburn. They're called our master outputs. One of them goes to our main speaker on the right, which is the tall one. And then the other one goes to our main speaker on the left. So that's how you get a mix to both sides of the room. And then these five cables right here are also on our output um, section of the board. And they're what we call our in-ear monitor. So each band member has some earbuds they have in their ear. And that's what allows them to hear themselves, hear each instrument, things like that. Um, those are newer to the world these days. A lot of folks used to use what were called floor wedges for monitors, but now it's so much easier to just do it in their ears and they can hear so much better, which leads to them being able to uh, lead worship in a greater way. And then lastly, down here on the bottom, these are all of our main channels. Um, and so when it comes to microphone, it comes to piano, it comes to our cajon right here, um, the music that comes from the computer, everything is ran out of here. So like these two cables run to my computer right there. These cables down here all run to a microphone. So like this is number 18 and number 18 on the board is Mabry's vocal. It's upside down. Then you got 17, which goes to Bethany, things like that. So that's kind of the board. And then let's do this, Auburn. Let's look right now at um, how we kind of run 
the board itself. So everything's ran to here. And what's really cool about this board is it's done digitally and through Wi-Fi to an iPad. So any type Bluetooth, of device, actually. excuse me, Bluetooth is a good way, to an iPad here. And it allows us to control all of the uh, sound. And so right here, you can see at the bottom where it says 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Tonight, we will use actually 14. It says key. So that right there, that little slider goes up and down and that'll control the sound for our keyboard. Acoustic, same kind of thing. Cajon, there we go. Vocals for Bethany, Mabry, Hannah. And then over here, it says Chase. That would be my microphone for tonight. And then at the top, you can see mute, unmute. If you hit mute, it'll not, don't hear anything or if you hit uh, it again and it unmutes then you actually hear the sound so really neat uh, tool to be able to uh, utilize this in a quick easy setup like in the gym when we're not leaving it set for a long period of time so now quick question the folks may have at home here yeah can you only have one device hooked up to that board at one time one like if we if if we both have iPads, can we both run sound at the same time? Yes, you can you can connect uh, through the Wi-Fi through the Bluetooth. This board itself, you see a little blue light right here. The board itself has built-in Wi-Fi, so you go to your settings in your device, go to Wi-Fi, click Soundcraft, and it'll allow you to sync and. Um, uh, load up the Wi-Fi from the board and then you can directly access each channel and it can be done on a phone It can be done through an iPad and it can be done on multiple devices So that's the setup. We do this a lot basically every week even outside or inside and it's really again easy for portable setup and it sounds really good too so we're excited for tonight um, the next thing you'll see in a little bit is sound check we'll have the band here very soon and they'll do sound check and we'll get some shots for that but again this was the setup of it uh, I really enjoy doing this Auburn uh, the setup part of it is a lot of fun in a lot of ways so excited for tonight we're gonna talk about Emmanuel what it means that God is with us and so get ready to check out sound check in just a minute Auburn, tell the people the band has arrived. I don't know if they've arrived or not. <laughs> they're here? I mean, they're here, yeah, but like, are they here? Well, that, I don't know, what do you I'm think? Here. I mean, they're here physically, but I don't know if they're feeling it yet. Y'all feeling it? I'm feeling it. You feeling it? Yes, I'm feeling it. You feeling it? So this week's Crest is highlighting Wednesday night setup. So yeah, everybody be sure to give us your social security number. Yeah, go ahead and wave. Go ahead and wave to the Crest really quick while you're setting up. Bethany, that's you too. Wave. I was waving. Oh, you were? I didn't see you wave. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That too. Our, our favorite fan. Oh, yeah. Anna Chase out there waving, waving, waving. She's uh, Harris's groupie. She like carries his bag and everything. <laughs> everything for Harris as he comes in and gets ready. So. That's what siblings are for. What's that? <laughs> that's what siblings are for. All right, so you guys can see behind me that the band has arrived. The band is practicing, getting ready for Wednesday night. So all the setup you saw earlier brings us to this place where the band has the ability to come in, sound check, practice, and then lead worship. And I'm so proud of our student band that will step up, be leaders today, and lead their peers into worship. And so you can hear them behind me. Uh, just proud of them, thankful for them, and excited for worship tonight here at RBC. All right, Auburn. That's a wrap, bro. That's a wrap.